This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Open the passenger's door and pull the bonnet release handle. Lift the safety catch and open the bonnet. Unclip the support prop from the wing and engage the end with the hole in the underside of the bonnet. Unscrew the coolant expansion tank filler cap. Place a suitable container beneath the coolant drain outlet or lower radiator hose at the left hand side of the radiator. Unscrew the radiator drain plug or where no plug is fitted, release the clamp and disconnect the lower hose from the radiator. Allow the coolant to drain into the container. To aid draining, slacken the clamp and disconnect the air intake hose from the throttle body. Depress the release tab and pull the breather hose from place. Then pull the air filter housing upwards from its mountings. Remove the cap from the bleed point in the heater matrix outlet hose. Unscrew the bleed screw and washer from the coolant housing on the left hand end of the cylinder head. When the coolant has finished draining, remove the container from beneath the radiator. Close the drain plug or reconnect the lower hose as applicable. Secure the lower hose with the clamp. Place absorbent rags beneath the bleed points. Fill the cooling system with a 50-50 mixture of antifreeze and water. As soon as bubble-free coolant emerges, refit the bleed cap to the heater matrix outlet hose and refit the bleed screw and washer to the end of the cylinder head. Remove the rags from beneath the bleed points. Continue to fill the system up to the maximum level mark on the side of the coolant expansion tank. Squeeze the rubber hoses frequently to help prevent the formation of airlocks. Refit the air filter housing, pressing it down into the rubber mountings, then reconnect the air intake hose and secure it with the clamp. Reconnect the breather hose. Securely refit the expansion tank filler cap. Start the engine and run it at a fast idle speed. Do not exceed 2000 RPM until the cooling fan cuts in and out twice. Then when the fan has stopped for the second time, switch the engine off. Allow the engine to cool, then recheck, and if necessary, bring the coolant level up to the maximum mark on the side of the expansion tank. Detach the support prop from the bonnet and clip it into place on the wing. Firmly lower the bonnet and check it's secure.